gang, FLX Beer Reviews, back again with another episode of As the Beer Swirls. I'm Dan. I'm Mike. Dan. What are we finally drinking? Our life savings. Okay. Um, this beer costs an immaculate <laughs> amount of money. We'll get to that. Uh, so this is from the Wellworks Brewing Company, and this is their Vanilla Barrel Aged Media Noche 2020 version. Oh, so it's uh, brand new. It, well, we, we bought it a little bit while oh, back. Okay. And, you know, uh, some other brew tubers, beer tubers, mm -hmm. have you reviewed it? I've started watching it, then I stopped because I didn't want to be influenced. 11.9 uh, ABV. Wellworks is coming out of Grilly, rude, uh, Grilly, Colorado. And what this is, is a crazy, a beer. crazy beer. Yeah. Um, Tell me what we spent our money on. <laughs> ready for this? Yeah, I'm ready. Vanilla median oche and <laughs> bourbon people will know automatically. With <laughs> It began with a blend of median oche batches aged 21 to 39 months in a myriad of different barrels. Blanton's bourbon. Uh-huh. Yeah. yeah. Allocated. Uh, Sazerac 18-year rye. <laughs> Buffalo Trace Jeez. rye. Henry McKenna 10-year-old bottled and bond bourbon. Law's Whiskey House Rye, Weller 12 Year, Buffalo Trace, and Blizzard's Roost Bourbon. Following the blending process, this Imperial Stout was aged on Madagascar vanilla beans <sighs> for an additional month to develop deep, rich flavors and aromas. Delight in decadent notes of freshly baked vanilla, sponge cake, dry oak, and a hint of milk chocolate, followed by a sweet custard finish. All that for the lovely, lovely price tag of forty dollars. <laughs> well, the description is a five all day. It is. So vanilla fleece. Kyle from No Hype. I'll have to go back and watch his full review. Yeah, see what I, he thought about this. I haven't but watched he, it. Here, here's the thing. <coughs> I smell it. Um, it's not bad. Yeah. Okay. It's you don't want any. <laughs> all right. Just tell me how it is. Okay. Holy Look at that. It is pure oil. water oil. Freaking um, oil. So if you were a longtime viewer of the channel, you'll recognize that this is the second variant of Media Noche we've had. Indeed. We had Old Rip uh, Media Noche, and we did that with Joe from yep. the Beer Patrol, and that was aged in old pappy barrels. And now, it was freaking amazing. Is it safe to say that we didn't want to taste this beer on the beer patrol this time. Let's do it ourselves. Uh, that would be a safe assumption. Okay. The other assumption would be he lived far away. Right. Okay. okay. Uh, yeah, this is just Stop. thick, <laughs> rich. There is oil. no head. Maybe a Nothing. A sliver. I already see if you tilt the glass, look at the legs on that. Yep. And lazy. Yep. And here's the thing. With the last media noche, the overall arching comment was, how can this be so thick and viscous and have legs like this for being such a low ABV? When you get brewery beers, Did they're like 20%. Yeah. It's okay. Like, yeah. It's, it's 11.9. Under 12%. Like, I thought yeah. this thing was going to be 13, 14. Like, if you, the legs automatically, if it is leaving a coating of brown just on the side of the glass. Gorgeous glassware. Let's, uh, Gorgeous. Uh, let's get a whiff on this thing. This may be a longer format video. It's okay. Just to get Some people everything like things once in a while. out of it. We were going to live stream it, but we're not prepared. No. Go ahead. Wow, that is... It's decadent. It's rich. It's full. There is such a wonderful, like... If you had some bourbon chocolate truffle candy, like from some high-end, you know... Chocolatier like uh, Hershey's, uh, if they put out like a uh, some sort of special once a year thing, it smells delicious. <sighs> There's some really nice like the stone fruit in there. It's like a dark cherry, but it's <laughs> it sounds bad, but it's like the cherries have gone like they're going bad. But in a good way. Yeah. <laughs> like they're rotten in a good way. Um, the vanilla. <laughs> the vanilla is like 
just hugging all these other aromas, just bringing it to its bountiful bosom for us to enjoy. Oh, the chocolate. Holy have you ever, have That you ever is had, your high-end Aldi dark have chocolate. Have you ever had the, the Wegmans Ultimate Chocolate Ain't Milk your Cookie? I, said. I heard all this. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, I have had the Wegmans Ultimate Chocolate. I haven't had that in a Decadence while. like that. And then they had that, um, the Ultimate Chocolate Cake, which is like a sliver of yeah. it. And you're just like, holy crap, what is that? It's like sludge. I feel like I may have had that, but I don't recall the cookie um, I remember. But Let me tell you a thing or two. I want to speak to you. Yeah. Um, I'm getting even more out of it. Jeez, yeah. The chocolate cake is a bunch There's of a caramel cake. drizzle. There's brown sugar. It's all the pastry and all the sweet, just everything in the world. It's, 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 it does smell so bountiful and just decadent and just like. It's blossoming. Uh, there, there is a bit. <laughs> there is a touch of the spiciness from the rye coming through once you get through the sweetness. Okay. It smells like it's going to be great, to be honest. It just... You could have multiple silent orgasms just smelling this, I think. If, if you're if you're a bourbon junkie, it. you know, or a, a, a stout... Uh, yeah, a, as someone who's been in the bourbon world for a bit now, is this... God, it's such a... Is this hitting all the switches for you, or...? Yeah, can we just dive in? Because we're going to smell it over and over. Uh, just, all right, Cheers. Mm. Can I tell you, right off the rip, mm -hmm. I'm so glad that has that touch of carbonation to it. Not that I would be opposed to it being this just sweet syrupy thing, but there is a carbonation that breaks up. It's uh, the right amount of carbonation. And there is a little bit of bitterness that breaks up that sweet aspect. It's very dense, and it's very... Um, full, but yet it is. Uh, Paul from PA Brew News. It's a little thin. <laughs> okay, all right. Uh, I don't know. I, like, is that the carbonation making it seem a touch thin? But is it thin for eleven point nine? No. No, that's what I was gonna say. Is it the carbonation making it seem thin, even though it's a sub twelve wow. percent? Dude, that barrel character. You're getting that sweet kind of jammy grape thing from Buffalo Trace. That usually get like the sweet, like uh, medicinal cherry, but sweet grape jam. I know, like like Bumpy, he hates the the grapiness of Buffalo Trace products. Um, wow. The oak is there. Um, mm -hmm. The oak, it, it's not, it's not super drying. It's not <clears throat> insanely just like over the top oaky, but that kind of wooden layer masked with that vanilla and chocolate, it almost tastes like a bourbon aged waffle cone. With vanilla and chocolate soft serve twist. So, right off the rip, I immediately got a very custard consistency Neapolitan ice cream. And as it blossomed, it's like they serve the ice cream in an old bourbon soaked wooden bowl mm -hmm. and they just started drizzling like some dark chocolate drizzle some caramel drizzle over it um you get some other little mm -hmm. stone fruits in there uh the cherry the, the cherry is just such a dark like dense cherry um but uh, for not being the, the bourbon connoisseur that you are i think those notes in there, I'm a rookie. they, nothing is overpowering. It's very balanced, and I think they add just enough uh, texture. Uh, they add enough uh, boozy notes. Uh, it, it, it dances between that custardy ice cream, uh, a rich, 
decadent piece of cake, like you had said earlier, uh, a high-end candy, uh, a truffle, if you will. Um, it, it's just, it's, it's almost like a top shelf dessert beer after having just a great yeah. meal. There's a very big raspberry jam poking out now. And that vanilla just... That little bit of carbonation, like, this beer is still an oily mess. But that little bit of carbonation... I was going to say, because that mouthfeel is very oily. And yeah. But it... It just it breaks it up enough to where you it probably it wouldn't be. Do you think it's a little overcarved? For what you want? Uh, no, I don't. I, I like that. I think it's more carved than the the, the uh, old rip. If I gotta think back to that, oh, man, I think it's a little bit more carved. Okay. Uh, I could see where you might think that, but I don't know. It's breaking up the oil. For me, just enough. It's like it, it almost like because I think it just coats your palate, but that little bit of carbonation mm. is peeling it off enough so that it's not lingering too long, if that makes any sense. Because it makes me want to go back in for another. This is. Here's the thing, Mike. Mm -hmm. I have two of these whiskeys in house. I have the McKenna 10 year old. Okay. I have Buffalo Trace. Mm -hmm. If I was prepared, we would have grabbed those. We're never prepared. Maybe, you know, compared those. Seat and seat of pants. Doing, you know, whatever. Yeah. But, but through the magic nice. of editing, uh -huh. I can make that happen. You're a magician. All those sorts of things. Man. My goodness. <clears throat> Question. Okay. Forty dollars worth. <sighs> no. Yeah. What What's the top you pay for this bottle? Now we split the bottle. We did. We, we, we split, split the bottle. Um. Well, let me ask you this. Does is part of your resistance to the price point? It's part of it, the ABV. Like, I feel like if I'm paying that amount for a beer like you this... You want brewery ABV? I want... Yeah, I want more ABV. You want, like, 20% ABV? I mean, I, I, don't, I don't know if it needs to be 20, but at least 15. <laughs> like, I don't know. What, what are your thoughts on the ABV after so, now that we've drank th it? This is weird, because it comes out swinging. Like, it's a big ABV beer. Mm -hmm. Tastes like a big ABV. Feels like a big ABV. In another world, we would celebrate such a thing, going, man, this thing drinks like a monster, but it's a low ABV mm. beer. That's great, you know. But I don't know. I think I want more ABV out of it. For the price point. Well, well all right. So what would you have felt like, let's say you walked in and it was $24.99. I'd feel a lot better about it. Yeah. Like, my initial thought was like, I'd pay 25 bucks for this. Because I'm paying 25 bucks for, like, another half stout. Sure. 22 to 25 bucks for a barrel-aged other sure. half stout. I mean, there are some great barrels <laughs> in this bad boy. A lot of work. I'm paying 18 bucks for a Mortalis. Mm -hmm. uh, a little bit more for the barrel-aged, but I don't really drink their barrel-aged because you got to stay in line for hours. It's stupid. Yeah, no thanks. Um. Mm. I feel like at this point you got to nitpick it based was, on the price. Man, reading because here's the thing, you're like, oh, it's a great freaking stout. It's a great barrel aged stout. It's fantastic. It, it complements you get everything out of the barrels you would want to. Mm -hmm. It's rich, decadent, desserty. Forty dollars, forty bucks. I get where they're coming from with forty bucks. I mean. If you say, look, it went into all this work, all these barrels, blah, blah, blah. It's getting it's getting a bit drying now that I'm doing it, the oak and stuff. Mm -hmm. I don't like as much as the Pappy, I don't think. Okay. I, I think I'd I think I'd give this like a 4, a 4, 6. I think okay. I'd give the Pappy 
that one. I think this is like a five all day. I'm pretty sure. Okay. It was like a five all day or four point seven five. I remember Joe saying, "Ah, it's a fucking five all day," and I'm like, "Yeah, you're right, Joe." Okay. Uh, I'll give it a four point five five. I mean, at least should have grabbed the bottom of the Buffalo Trace. I feel terrible about it. Ah, don't worry about that would have been good. You know, to compare. You know. Yeah. Because because a lot of this is Buffalo Trace product, so you're gonna get that kind of mm. you know mash bill kind of flavor to it. Okay. Um. Yeah, I know. What What do you guys think? I mean, what are your thoughts on price points for beers like this? Yeah. Well, would you pay it? Like, for me, I was like, okay, it's for the channel. We'll we'll split the sure, cost. Sure. Sure. You know. Um. Yeah, I feel like we're coming down on this like it's not a good beer. It's well, that, that's fantastic. the thing because when when you when you pay that amount of money for something, you you can't help but judge it based on what you paid for. Sure, sure. And, and we've never been a channel that's really gotten hung up on price points. In fact, we rarely talk about price. We points, but rarely. It, it's do. such a high price point, you can't. Yeah, you, you can't ignore it. Like, I don't get. I guess getting back to the beer. Now that you've say, sat here and sipped on it, mm -hmm. you've gotten a scope of what it is. Yes, it's Malter, Malter, like, blah, blah, holy crap. Da, da, da. Multi-layered. Yes. But I've gotten to the point where the layers have stopped for me. It's not evolving. It's finally Because this was cellar yeah. temp. We threw it in the fridge for a little bit, but, you know, just to give mm -hmm. it a little chill. As it warms, again, uh, without repeating myself too much, you know, you get that sweet vanilla jammy kind of red raspberry kind of grapey thing going on uh with a hug of brown sugar and caramel dolce like it you know i think it is a little thin now i'm sipping on more yeah. the mouth feels oily it's thin though so, yeah 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 i i can see that now that it's settled in and all those those flavors have finally calmed am down. i disappointed slightly do I think it's freaking delicious? And would I love to drink this? Yes. Yes. Is is it really the price point though that, that yeah. that's doing so much? Hundred percent. Yeah. If I bought this bottle for twenty four dollars, I'd be like, okay, it's like another All half. Day. It's you know. Yeah. Uh, you know whatever you name it. Yep. I I agree. But you know what? I shouldn't be mad because I paid twenty dollars for it, and Mike paid twenty dollars for it. So actually, we're four dollars lower. So yay or, for this beer. But then you also put into perspective, oh, I paid that for half a beer. So you still overpaid. Everything's fine. <laughs> it's been the mantra of the day. <laughs> Everything <laughs> Everything's is fine. fine. Okay. <sighs> it's good, though. It's. I'm enjoying every sip. Glassware is perfect. It is. Good glassware. Uh, Rochester glass. Real Beer Expo. Yep. 2024. Happened in June. Uh, myself, Joe from the Beer Patrol, and my lovely, lovely better half, Nikki, uh, went and we attended and we made plenty of friends, met some viewers at the channel. That was fun. Mm. Um, yeah. Mike was... Uh, I give a shit. Yeah. He was off on uh, fun adventures in the wild, wild mountains of who the fuck knows New York? And, uh, <laughs> you know. Look at the aftermath. Mm. The glass is not brown. It's beautiful. I told you, it's going to be a long episode. That's okay. A beer like this, it, it deserves it. Yeah, yeah. I feel like you, you, wanna let this you, you can let this, let this play. You can listen to us in the background. We could have done a you shorter do review. Dishes. Listen, you could do dishes right now. Oh, absolutely. You could, uh, you know, work out. Yeah. You could keep it on mute. Drink your own you beer. Want something else? Yeah. Drink a stout along with us. Oh, something's going on. Remember that time in Grow where you didn't have other screens to look at and you had to like pay attention to me? <laughs> yeah. That was terrible. Seems, seems like forever ago. Yeah, that was terrible. Now every review you just see me looking over. I'm like, I got my screen back, baby. Yeah. Uh, if, if if you don't know, so this is behind the scenes. We, we have the iPad with the, the camera controls on it. So, so yeah, fun times. Um, last. Yeah, go watch Kyle from No Hype. Yeah, if yeah, I'm I'm looking forward to watching. Someone else did it. I don't know who. I forget. 
I'll have to look. But yeah, definitely. Did, did Joe do this? He might have. Did he? I don't know. He might have. Maybe NerdSense or Keith or something. I feel like Somebody NerdSense did. did. I could be wrong, though. Right. But, uh, I'm going to go look now. I just didn't want to be influenced. Tell you what. Yeah, let's look right now. Yeah. I'm still drinking. This will last 500. Believe it or not, we still have beer in the bottle. Uh, YouTube. Mm. Let's see. If I put vanilla medianosh. Who pops up first? What's your bets? Who pops up first? Three, two, one. Obviously the beer patrol. Kyle. Oh! Beer. All right. Uh, Master of Hoppets. And the third video that pops up is beer us. Patrol. Oh. It's oh. us reviewing the Pappy. We haven't even had the beer yet. Yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah. Paul, P.A. Brunner. Okay. For the Pappy. But yeah. Okay. Fair enough. Yeah, now that I've had this, I'm definitely looking forward to watching some reviews of it. Yeah. Mm. Take a little nip. A little nip. A little nipsy Russell. She has summer plans. <laughs> summer's over. Not that we're drinking this summer. Summer's over. We still got a solid two months of summer. Done. The pumpkin beers have hit the shelves. Summer's over. It's it's been a good. I run. saw the the caramel yeah, pumpkin. The freaking pumpkin! Like dear God, who wants to drink that? A, who wants to drink that shit anyway? B, who wants to drink it now? <laughs> They're robbing us of our summer. Uh, we are. got we got Jenny's putting out ruby red coals, going out. Oh, well, it's uh, about to be February. Might as well put the uh, ruby red coals out. <sighs> I don't understand what's going on with beer companies nowadays. Like. <sighs> Stop releasing shit out of season. I listen, listen. I get it. You want to be the first ones to get it out. You want the first, you want to get that first gain share out of everyone. You'd be like, oh, everyone's been waiting for it all year. I'll be the first one to get it. I'll make super amounts of money and stuff. I get it. Doesn't make it right. Who's waiting for that garbage? Caramel pumpkin? Yeah. Keith. Oh, okay. Whatever my <laughs> Enjoy it, Keith. <laughs> <laughs> like, uh, gross. Uh, yeah, I don't know. Oh, Ryan, Ryan from Be Ryan's Beer Reviews. What happened to that guy? He played Warcraft. Oh, he sucked into Warcraft? Yeah. It's over for him? Yeah. Um, uh, he Ryan, loves the pumpkin if beers. you watch this, he won't. Take a break from Warcraft, because Fish put out a new album. I don't know if you know, <laughs> if you've been out in the real world, but... <sighs> Can I tell you something? I've never heard of Fish song. You must have heard of Fish song at some Never. Point. Uh, I, I guarantee it. I've never heard... Uh, Grateful Dead, either. I feel like you have. No. I feel like they're one of those bands where people like feel like they haven't heard a song, but then like, oh, that's them? Oh, okay. Yeah. Like, what if what if a couple breweries just said, eh, let's not put these beers out this year. Let's just not do it. And they put something else out instead. Would that really be so bad? I mean, Jenny did it, and you got really mad at him for doing it. They put a summer beer out in winter. Uh, but I'm just saying, you got mad at them for doing the exact thing. Well, they thing took away like, a real good beer. The Schwartz beer. Yeah. Yeah. That's, you know, I wasn't a big fan of it, to be honest. Oh, I love that Schwartz beer. I, it was okay. I, I really not So the two beers. The, water. the two was, seasonals, I really never. I didn't drink a lot of the Schwartz beer. I, Spring Bach, I certainly. I just ignored. Really? You yeah. like the Springbok? Like, I just ignore it. I don't bother wow. with it. I see the Springbok, I'm like, oh, okay. Man, when they did the, uh, they had, was it barrel aged Springbok? At one point, that was delicious. Yeah. That was brew house only. Freaking Jenny. It, like, they release so much beer, and then you go to the brew house, and you're like, what is all this? What's these beers? <laughs> the freaking mosaic dry hop cream ale. Dude, the Jenny Brew House, their selection is fantastic. It's insane. And delicious food. And hey, here's the thing. I I feel like I got even with you. <laughs> uh, oh, yeah? Because you... you, you what you did know. I do? What did I do to wrong you no, that I didn't you, even know about? You didn't, you didn't go to the expo. And, oh. and, and me and Joe and Nikki, we, we got to try the... The awesome, oh. uh, the awesome dry hop cream ale. The the right. uh, was it Alora hop? Uh, yeah, okay. Kavik yeast, uh, Kavik yeast, whatever. Uh, dry hop cream ale, okay. and then we got some swag and stuff. Ah, it was badass. 
Yeah. I got to meet Dean Jones. I've met people from Jenny. And meanwhile, you were just four wheeling with a broken nose. Still fun times, but. I've met people from Jenny. Yeah. No, I've met people that watch our channel. Okay. So. Huh. Great people. I'm sure there were. I am so curious. If you were watching at the minute of 25, 58 seconds, well, probably not because I'll edit some out. Dan's watching. Um, who? You. Screen's right there. You've been watching the review the whole time. I have. I have. It's a weird, like, meta thing where, like, you're watching. i got to make sure it's okay for Billy. <laughs> <laughs> everything, everything we do is like, are we up to Billy's standards? I don't know if we are. Billy, have you had this beer? Tell us what you Bumpy think about used to it. watch all the time. He soured on us. The... What did you do? Huh? What did you do to him? I called him a stout snob, and, you know. Well, he probably is a stout snob. He is. Um, the, would, here, Bumpy, would Bumpy like this beer? Honestly, oh, that's a good question. Tell me. Tell me. Tell me. Bumpy's, down in this whole fucking Tell me Bumpy's right thoughts now. on it. Dan, you want to know why? I know, we're enjoying it. We're going to drink this whole bottle on camera. It's happening. Good. Hour long. You know what? Maybe I'll convert this into a podcast. I'll put it on Apple Podcasts. <laughs> the, 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 the first, the first episode of our podcast. That, right? it, yeah. Is this freaking shit show? Tell me Bumpy's thoughts. You let Bumpy speak through you. I just gave the coaster character. Like, it's going to stay. I'm going to soak Look this at coaster. It. It, it, holy shit. Those it's literally a stain. Like standing wood. Staying on our channel. Oh, it's going to smell like bourbon. Oh, can you oh, have actual bourbon in Smell there? it. It's fantastic. I do have bourbon. No, answer. And at this point, a half an hour in, I should have grabbed that fucking answer buffalo Answer the question. Case. Speak for Bumpy. I think Bumpy would not be mad at this. Why? Because it's got... Is there enough adjuncts in there? Oh. It's got all the barrel character. Okay. Yeah, I, I think he really, really liked this. I think, I think his one knock, actually. No, 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 I think about that. The one thing he hates about Buffalo Trace, that this bottle has it definitely present, is, um, it's got to slide down just a little bit. There we go. No, other way. There we go. Because um, it's got that kind of grapey, jammy thing. And he hates that about Buffalo Trace product. All right, like so he shit on Buffalo. Where Trace. does his snobbery begin with stouts? Okay, so he doesn't like thin session stouts. Oh, those are so fun. I, I said that you like them, and I agree with him. Murphy's yeah. all day, baby. And, uh, you know, there was a whole Lunkenheimer situation. Um, <laughs> You're playing Lunkenheimer. <laughs> don't we know what Mike's talking about? Okay. <laughs> this is the best um, combo we ever got. <laughs> Oh, and and, and um, the chili one from Evil Twin, he said it drank weird. He loved the chili hot pepper aspect, but it drank okay. weird. I don't know, just every, there's something lacking. He thinks Kettlehead Stouts are subpar. Oh, I don't know, man. I, like I think I think Bumpy would give this a go and okay. like it. I'd like to know what he thinks about yeah. this. It might be too jammy for him, though. Too grapey. I can see where it would be. Um, I think that aspect really opened up as this thing is sat mm -hmm. and warmed. Um, it's uh, some of the flavors have like settled down and it's kind of relaxed mm -hmm. now. Um, I didn't think the carbonation is kind of bumped up a little bit. Like I'm noticing it a lot more than I did initially. Yeah. Um, and that's the thing, like, as it would just sit here and just let it go, I feel like I drank bourbon. Okay. But with chocolate. <laughs> like, if you were doing a pairing? Mm hmm Okay. Yeah. It's fantastic. Speaking of, you want, what cheese would you pair with this? Did you do any of those cheese and beer pairings? With Beer Man? Yeah. On his channel? I've done a couple. Okay. I usually work on Tuesdays, so. Do you have a, a cheese pairing? I feel like. With this? I feel like curds would go well with this. this any curds? I think curds would go well. well with this. I like I think like a fruited uh, Havarti or something would go well. I think a nice string cheese. You, you know what else would this. go well? I I actually recently bought some um, Yancey's uh, strawberry jalapeno cheese. Interesting. 
Ancy's makes good cheese, so I mean... You no, know, because I think that fruity aspect would pair well with it. Yeah, I think you're right. You know, when you, when you descript this video, mm -hmm. it's not episode of As Beer Swirls. I think an FLX podcast, Vanilla Media and Ocean Edition. Because they had a half an hour mark, you're a podcast. You're no longer a beer video. Who says? Ah, I made the rule. I mean, isn't this like uh, what do the poppies call it in the world? Uh, it's like a mukbang. Oh my god, it would be a mukbang if we had something else to drink here, like some bourbon. Yeah, like the Buffalo Trace. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I appreciate anyone that's still watching or fast forwarded to this point. I'm okay with the fast forward. I'm okay with it because you want to see what's going on. Yeah, you know, I'm totally okay. with it. And it's funny because they're going to fast forward and realize nothing's going on. But this is definitely, like, we're, I'll tell you what. I'm going I'm to start the description as open yourself a bottle, have a seat. Drink Just like we're doing. Bottle. Open. It's empty. $40. What do they call it? Expensive. Can you imagine? There are some people that a twenty dollar four pack is like, are you fucking kidding me? I still don't understand. I remember I went through a line, and then they go to a bar and pay like seven dollars for a beer. Oh, that's a good price. Yeah, uh, dude, I was in a line at Wegmans, and I I scanned it, and the lady looks at me, kind of an older lady, probably fifties. Um, so not much older than this. <laughs> late fifties. Anyway, um, she's like, boy, beers got expensive nowadays. I said, well, it, you know, it's it's pretty good. It, it it does the job, you know. It's pretty high alcohol. Yeah. You know, you know it was a four pack of other half, eight percent. Eight percent. So you say like a four pack of other half, eight percent, twenty bucks, five dollars a beer mm. for an eight percent. Like that's. But the point I'm trying to make, if you tell them, hey, forty bucks, you be like, what? <sighs> yeah. Huh? Even I would be. Can I tell you when I went to one stop, they had uh, uh some Blood Brothers. Okay. Uh, and they. Uh, it was a rum barrel aged stout, and it had the creepy guy from Poltergeist. <laughs> okay. Uh, on it, and I said, "Oh, that, you know, should I get that?" Then they had a stout from Anger Chair, and he's like, "Ah, oh, you know, the Blood Brothers can't go wrong with that." Okay. So I was, it, it was a two pack, and I was like, "Okay, but he's like, yeah, yeah." He's like, "So it's thirteen ninety nine for one can, or twenty four ninety nine for two cans." Okay. And I was like, I I looked at it. I was like, I looked at him, and I said, eh, maybe some other time. He goes, I respect that. And right. I'm like, I'm like, okay. Because I was not imagining $13.99 for the, the no. can. You know? No. And it was only 10%. No. Like, it's not like it's some 18% thing where, it's not like it's Bourbon County in a can. Yeah. Oh, man. Now you, just made... you know, I just drank a bottle of that Oma Gang. The, the Bourbon County Light, the what what the what was the Oma Gang, the the Imperial Reserve Stout. Yeah, oh, holy fuck! Can, can I tell you something? That's delicious. It aged well. I feel like we're connected. Me and you. Oh, absolutely. I threw. I feel like some rhythm in the universe. Yep. Wherever it started, it rippled it, this it, far it, out. It, it said, "You know what? These two dudes, they gotta at least be acquaintances." Or something. Because as I woke up at 8.30 in the morning, mm -hmm. I got thinking, you know, I'd like a nice barrel-aged beer today. So I'm like, what can I go get for my cellar and put in? Um, I ended up picking uh, Willetized Coffee Stout. Okay. But I said, man, that Oma Gang, that was amazing. So I get on Untapped <laughs> this morning. Oh, okay. I'm looking, I'm seeing, who's drinking it lately? I say, see... And I'm, I'm I'm trying to scroll through and if they put where they buy it from. Uh -huh. So I was like, man, is there any of that just like squeaking around somewhere? No, I forgot. It was a collab with the Wegmans. Oh, I totally forgot about that. So I went on their site or on their Instagram. Oh, and no it, it was a, a collab post with the Wegmans. Okay. And I said, man, Wegmans, sometimes they, get, they keep dusty things around. Yes, they do. So I went on Wegmans app and I'm switching locations, typing in home again, see if they pop up. Okay. None popped up. Ah, um. But, I mean, because they're still Bourbon County at the Newark Wegmans and stuff. Yeah. But 
that's so funny because I was like really I was like man I I feel like I should have bought so much more of that. Yeah, I didn't. It buy was literally I think it was like fourteen, thirteen ninety nine, fourteen ninety nine for four cheap. pack. Of it was like thirteen percent. It's barrel aged, rested thirty months, and I think Heaven Hill barrels. I think it was. Um, You're the one that coined it. Like this is. Bourbon oh, it County tasted, on a budget. Dude, it tastes exactly... It was Bourbon County on Fantastic a fucking budget. Fantastic beer. So you get a whole four-pack for the price of one beer. Yeah. But that's so weird that you... Because this morning, I, I literally <laughs> spent like 40 minutes researching <laughs> where I can maybe find Who want more of this? I hope they... You know, part of me thinks like they took it off the shelf at a certain point, but they still have it, and in November, maybe they'll stick it back out. It would be nice. So it I came out in there. November of last year. Yeah. Yeah. And it was on sale. That's what it was. It was fifteen ninety nine, and they had it on sale for thirteen ninety nine. Yeah. And I remember I, I got some. I gave you one. I was like, oh my god. And I, I, I the FOMO hit, and I went back and I bought another one. <laughs> yeah, I know I bought more. I have a four pack in the cellar right now. I had one left, and I drank it like a week ago. It was delicious. Yeah, that must have took a, a lot to just. I was looking for a bottle to drink. I was like, I gotta open something. I gotta open something. And I pulled that. I was like, oh yeah. yeah. That was all it took. Yeah, that's good. That's good. I'm glad to finally get this one off the shelf, though. Me too. Me too. Again, man, not much has changed. Just really just cherry, jammy. Your lips sticky? Yeah, very, just all. very much. Very much so. Mm -hmm. I don't think... Um, yeah. It's weird because it's... It, Throw that glass out. Look at the, there's there's like pectin and stuff on there. Yeah. Oh, the smell on that. Deep cocoa is <laughs> right. Perfect. Oh my god, that's fantastic. What do you think about the long format? You like it? We do it once in a while. Yeah, once it, in it a while. seems to go over well. Can you imagine? We're going to upload this. I'm just going to see the time frame. Like, what the fuck? What were we doing? You're going to edit the hell out of it. It's not going to be like 12 minutes. No, I'm I'm leaving it untouched. I'm not doing anything to it. Okay. No uh, zooms? Do you want zooms? I mean, I... I what was the one I was <laughs> just... Did you, did you, dude, do you see how long this video is? You know how much... That's going to take you forever. Dude. What's the the one you just did? The Moto Echo? Where you were zooming in like caca? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Moto Echo! I was Moto dying. Moto Echo! That's so funny. <laughs> Yeah, this is this is pleasant. I'm glad we drank it. Yeah, I'm glad I, we finally did. We drank the whole bottle. We're like, screw it. Let's just do it. We had to. After all this time, how many times have we got together for reviews and we're like, we gotta drink that medium ocean. We gotta drink that medium ocean. We never do. This time we're like, we're drinking it. Yeah. Yeah, I remember. Uh, what was that when we did that one with Joe? Yep. And I had a little bit left today. I, I, it was like. The day after, I just sat out on the porch drinking it. I was like, oh, it's so good. Yeah. Yeah. I definitely like this slightly less, I think, than the Pappy. Okay. still so delicious. I'd have to go back and watch If it. I had to go back in time, would I buy it for the 40? Probably not. Yeah. I'm glad we got it. But yeah, not for 40. Yeah. Yeah. All right. I guess uh, that was a good one. We're done. For anyone who's stuck around, thanks. Billy, we're obviously talking to you. You'll um, never see it, but for the one person to pass along, Billy, yeah. um, tell Kyle we're better than he is because we finished the whole bottle on camera. Boom. Boom. All right, gang. Uh, you know all the other stuff. Thanks for watching, everybody. Cheers. Seriously, Kyle, step up your game.